Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name's Hannah, also known as a tropical plant addict. And today I wanted to talk to you about some of my wish list plants. And as you can imagine, I've got quite a few on my list. So I'm gonna narrow it down today and just talk about maybe five or six plants. I really hope you find my choice of plants interesting and also inspiring. Some of the plants I'm going to be mentioning are quite rare and hard to find. So hopefully you'll be adding them to your wish lists as well. I'm going to be including some photos from some of the plant Instagrammers that I follow. And if you're not on Instagram, you definitely should be. If you're already on Instagram, I'm Tropical Plant Addict on there and I'll link below my page for you in the description box. Right, let me grab my notes. So these are some of my wishlist plants in no particular order. I'm going to start off with the Begonia Amphioxus. I really hope I've pronounced that right. This is a really rare and unusual begonia that's native to New Guinea and it's more suited for the experienced plant collector as it can be a bit tricky to care for. I tried to get hold of one for my Biob Air planting video as these would be perfect for a terrarium, but I couldn't find one and they're quite hard to find at the moment. Perhaps in the summer I might be able to get hold of one. And sat behind me on the table is my Biob Air if you were wondering what that was. If you haven't seen the planting up video, have a little look as I think you'll have fun watching that one. So this particular begonia thrives in a really warm and humid environment and the fact that it's really difficult to take care of kind of attracts me to it even more because it's, it's like a challenge, isn't it? I love how unusual and alien it looks. It's just amazing. It reminds me a little bit of my begonia maculata YTI, but on steroids. Does anyone else have one of these begonias? If you do, please tag me in your Instagram photos as I would love to have a look at it. And if you do know where I could currently get one from, please let me know. Oh, monster, hello. You say hello. You say hi. This is monster, by the way. She doesn't usually come and say hello while I'm filming, do you? It's usually Marvin that comes over. Hello. I've completely forgotten what I was saying. Um, uh, yes, I would love to purchase a couple of these begonias and do a little bit of an experiment with them. Maybe keep one in my terrarium and then one on a bright windowsill and see which one does best. I'm assuming the one in the terrarium will do much better, but you never know. What do you think? Mm. So the next plant I have on my wish list is the Agronema Pictum Tricolor. Bit of a mouthful. Aglaonemas are so easy to care for. They can tolerate low light conditions. They don't require frequent watering. And I absolutely love this um, Pictum tricolor. I mean, look at the pattern on the leaves. It's absolutely amazing. It reminds me of camouflage print. It, it just looks like it's been painted. I just think it's absolutely spectacular, isn't it? And I just love the fact that you could put this plant pretty much anywhere in your home and it's gonna thrive. If anyone else has this Aglaonema in their collection, let me know and please tag me on your Instagram photos as I would love to see it. Next on my list is the absolutely stunning Musa AA. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's the most beautiful variegated banana you've ever seen. Even the bananas are variegated on this plant, if you're lucky enough for it to actually grow the bananas in your climate. Apparently the origin of this particular banana plant is unknown, but it has been growing in Hawaii and Florida for quite a number of years. One thing I find really interesting about this plant is that only one in four of the pups actually retain the variegation, which is why it's really hard to find and it can be quite pricey. This banana can be grown in the garden or it can be kept as a house plant, depending on your climate. I plan on getting one and putting it outside for the summer and then bringing it in for the rest of the year. I've been trying to hunt one down since last year and fingers crossed I might actually have one in the next couple of months and I'm so excited. Again, if you've got this particular type of banana, please tag me in your photos, I'd love to see it. The next plant on my wish list is the Cecestis marabilis. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a super rare plant, also known as the African embossed aroid. And this is because of the white parts of the plant being puffed and raised above the darker green bits. So it almost looks like it's been put into an embossing machine and stamped. As I mentioned, this plant is quite hard to find, but from what I've read, it's mostly grown in shaded areas in the garden 
but it can also be kept as a house plant. So please, if you do have one, definitely tag me in your photos because I'd love to have a look. The Cecestis mirabilis originates from the West African rainforest and the juvenile plants appear to be more striking in shape, pattern and colour. And as they mature, they actually lose their colour, lose their pattern and the leaves begin to develop holes and divisions, which is really interesting. So these plants actually look better when they're in their juvenile stage than when they're mature. Definitely a plant to keep an eye out for. If you know anywhere that's selling them, please let me know. I did see one on eBay that was in Thailand, but it's such a long way to ship a plant and I don't know, it's, it's quite a gamble, isn't it really? I'd prefer to either purchase one from the UK or Europe. So I might be waiting a long time. The next plant on my wish list is the Christia obcordata. This plant is also known as the butterfly or swallowtail plant for obvious reasons. It's a fast growing perennial that originates from Southeast Asia and Brazil. Excuse me, I need to turn the page. I'm just so attracted to the unique shape and pattern on the leaves, it's so unusual and it just doesn't look like any other plant that I own. It reminds me a little bit of my oxalis, but even prettier. It can grow quite large. If it's grown in the right conditions, it can reach up to about 120 centimetres. This plant loves full sun or filtered sunlight, but just be careful as direct sun can scorch the leaves if it's on it for a long period of time. It loves high humidity and moist soil. I think it would be perfect for my bright east facing window and I really hope that I can find one soon. Just like the oxalis, this plant can go dormant in the winter or when the temperature drops, but it will be bouncing back in the springtime or when the warmer weather comes back. I don't think it would appreciate the UK weather here, but I'd love to have one as a house plant and I think it would really enjoy living on my east facing window. Next on my list is the philodendron pink princess. Still haven't got round to getting one. Not a particularly rare plant, but can be quite difficult to source here in the UK at certain times of the year. They're starting to kind of come into stock now in some of the shops, so I'm hoping to get one soon. This is such a beautiful plant. I just absolutely love the pink variegation on the leaves. The more pink variegation, the better for me. Come here. You're ruining my hair. Pink Princess is quite a slow growing plant, which is why it can be kind of difficult to obtain at certain times of the year and it can be quite pricey. The Pink Princess is native to Costa Rica and the rainforests of South America. I actually had the pleasure of visiting Costa Rica a couple of years ago for my friend's wedding and it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I was in heaven being surrounded by tropical rainforests, beautiful flowers, amazing wildlife I saw toucans, sloths, macaws, monkeys. I stayed in Manuel Antonio and highly recommend it if you love a, like a tropical holiday, if you love your wildlife. I would absolutely love to go back someday. I just went to put Monster upstairs because she's acting crazy today. She's really hyperactive. Now, where was I? Some of my tropical garden is inspired by Costa Rica and I'm hoping to make it even more beautiful, lush and tropical this year. I've got some really good plans for the garden. If you haven't seen my garden tours already, have a little look. I only renovated it last year, so it's still a work in progress and I can't wait to finish it. Last but not least on my plant wish list is the Alocasia beginda, also known as Dragon Scale, for obvious reasons. I absolutely love the leaves on this plant, the shape, the colour, the pattern, the texture. It looks like it should belong in a magical forest somewhere. It's just out of this world. Even the back of the leaves look amazing. It looks like a completely different plant from the back. I just find it absolutely fascinating to look at. Also, I love the fact that alocasia seem really easy to care for. I just keep mine on a bright east facing window and just water them when the top couple of inches of soil is dry. And mine didn't go dormant in the winter. They've bloomed twice since I've had them since last summer and I recently got an Alocasia cupria to add to my collection, which is absolutely stunning. So the Alocasia beginda loves high humidity and warm temperatures. You'll need to keep it above 15 degrees Celsius if you don't want it to go dormant. 
Don't worry if it does go dormant, as soon as the temperatures start warming up a bit it'll come back to life. The Alocasia beginda is native to Southeast Asia and I've seen photos of it growing wild in the forests of Borneo. That's another place I really want to visit and it's on my list. I'm really hoping to add one of these to my collection soon. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope I've given you some ideas and inspiration for your plant collection. If anyone owns any of these plants, let me know below and let me know what's on your wish list. My wish list currently consists of about 30 or 35 plants and it's constantly growing. I'm always getting ideas from Instagram and other YouTubers. If you like this video, let me know, give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comments and if you'd like me to do another wish list plants video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed it and see you all soon in my next video. Bye everyone. Marvin hasn't come to say hello today, so I was gonna try and bribe him over. You can see him up there. It's this buddy. Okay, he doesn't want the straw, but I know what he will want. Here buddy. Oh, that's so cute. These cashew nuts are his favorite treat and if I ever need him to go back into his cage, I'll offer him a cashew nut. So instead of flying over here to get it, he's gone into his cage. Here you are, buddy. Oh, you're a good bird. Ooh. That's his favorite treat. Do anything for a cashew nut.